Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's Universe Sandbox Square video, we're going to be discussing the sun, but specifically we're actually going to be talking about various ways our sun loses mass, and also basically talk about how much mass it actually loses every year, and how massive it's going to be by the time that our sun actually decides to disappear and die. And anyway, let's start the video, and welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So like everything in our solar system, including every major planet, Sun, of course, loses its mass um, for one reason or another. So if you go uh, to Mercury here and under materials, if you look at uh, mass loss in total, you'll notice that it loses a little bit of mass every single second. Venus loses even more, as a matter of fact, much, much more. And even Earth loses a little bit as well. So every single planet and every single body in our system loses a little bit of mass, normally because of the sun. But the sun itself also loses mass. Now, for some reason, actually, Jupiter doesn't have anything, but it also loses mass as well. So um, what exactly happens to sun? How can it actually lose mass? Well, first, let's actually talk about what's happening on the surface of the sun. Sun is obviously very, 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 very hot. And because it's so hot, it actually creates a lot of evaporation of various materials and also various electrons and protons that basically boil away from the sun and sort of form this kind of a cloud around the sun. And then because of the, um, the all of the energy that sun releases, um, all of this cloud, uh, um, cloud eventually gets superheated and ionized and becomes what's known as the solar wind. So the solar wind is what usually causes aurora borealis or basically the um, northern lights on our planet and also southern lights. But it also obviously causes a lot of problems with satellites and a lot of other very interesting electric effects. But um, it spreads everywhere. It spreads in this direction, it spreads in that direction. It sort of creates what's known as a heliosphere around our sun, which is a very, very massive sphere around um, our solar system. And uh, this... Um, solar wind is one of the ways the sun loses its mass and as a matter of fact every single second something like 1.5 million tons or basically this uh many kilograms so 1.5 billion kilograms um which is about this much it's this little rock that i just created by accident um this is how much sun loses every single second so that's just from the solar winds what about uh, another way well, obviously, because the sun is actually burning, because it's actually creating all this energy, it's um, undergoing something called fusion reaction. Now, it basically fuses hydrogen into helium at its core, and as that happens, some of the mass is converted into energy using the Einstein's E equals mc square formula, and basically, sun forms light and neutrinos. And uh, a lot of this stuff escapes the sun, and... Um, because of all of this escape, because of all of this conversion of mass into energy, Sun loses something like 4 million more um, tons of mass each second. So in total, uh, and this is of course about three times higher than uh, the mass from, from the solar wind. So in total, Sun loses about 5.5 billion kilograms per second. So it's about a rock that's about this big, 252 uh, meters in radius of material every second. Now that's only per second. This of course means that every single year, the sun loses approximately 174 um, trillion tons or 174 quadrillion kilograms of mass. Uh, and this is per year. It's basically a rock that's about 7.89 or I guess eight kilometers in radius. And this is how much mass sun loses every single year. Now, after a thousand years, after a thousand years, it becomes this big. It's about 80, um, almost 80 kilometers in radius now. After about a million years, it's about this big. It's uh, basically a rock that's about uh, 800 kilometers in, in radius now. And after a billion years, this is how much mass the sun is going to lose. After one billion years, it's essentially going to be equivalent or I guess um, very similar in mass to about 30 Earths or I guess more massive than Neptune. So if I were to actually compare this to Neptune, if I were to put it next to um, next to this object, it's actually smaller than the mass the mass of the sun uh, or mass the sun will lose after about a billion years. Now our sun is going to live for approximately um, six more billion years, and that's at least 
the main sequence stage. So this of course means that it's going to lose something like 180 masses of Earth. So it's going to be about this big. So that's, pr that's actually pretty large. It's still a little bit smaller than Jupiter. It's about 60% the mass of Jupiter, but it is large enough for us to actually uh, consider this to be a very, very large amount of material. But don't forget, this is of course after 6 billion years, so that's actually going to take it a very, very long time. In terms of the actual percentage of current mass, so right now Sun is about 1.00 masses of Sun. When it's done losing all of its mass after 6 billion years, it's going to be about 0.99 uh 966 uh masses of sun so it's actually just going to lose something like 0.034 percent of its current mass it's actually under one percent we can't even actually display this here because it doesn't go in such a small values so the total uh mass that uh, the sun will lose is actually quite insignificant but that's only um, for our sun. This is only for our star. But some stars, like for example, more uh, energetic stars, if I were to pick any other star, like for example, Spica here, it actually loses a lot more. So here's Spica, which actually completely just destroyed our solar system. This particular star would lose a huge amount of mass in comparison to our sun. As a matter of fact, it would lose something like hundreds of times more mass per second. And over uh, the period of billions of years, although it wouldn't actually live that long, but over the periods of millions of years, it's going to lose a mass, maybe even equivalent to our sun. It might actually lose this much mass um, over its lifetime. So these uh, stars that are very bright, very, very, very energetic, they lose a lot more mass than our smaller um, sun. But I guess what's interesting is that as the sun actually loses a little bit of its mass, as basically it becomes less massive and as it releases a lot of energy and mass through both um, solar winds and of course uh, its energy, um, Earth actually gets to um, retreat from the sun a little bit every single uh, year. So as a matter of fact, Earth's um, distance or distance from the sun um, actually increases by about 1.6 centimeters or something like half an inch or just over half an inch every single year. And that's because sun loses mass, it loses the pull on the earth, it loses a bit of gravity, and earth slowly is retreating from the sun. So this also means that after about a billion years, so a billion years later, it's going to retle retreat from um, the sun by about a billion or I guess 1.6 billion centimeters. Or in other words, it's actually going to be about 16 million kilometers farther away. So right now the distance to uh, the sun is about 150 million. Um, but, uh, a, you know, something like a billion years later, it's going to be 166 million. So it's going to be right there. It's actually going to be farther away, which also means that it's going to be a little bit colder, a little bit less hospitable. It's going to slowly uh, move farther and farther away from the habitable zone. So every billion years, it's going to increase this by 16 million. So after about uh, five more billion years, after about five more billion years, this will actually increase by about 80 uh, million. So this will become 230 million kilometers. So it's already going to be sort of on the outskirts of the habitable zone, which means that our planet is going to be a lot more cold and you can kind of see this already happening right there. If you look at our planet, it's sort of getting a little bit chilly on the surface. There's a lot of ice everywhere. North America is covered in ice and so is um, the rest of the planet. But that's of course not considering the fact that the sun will actually start expanding a little bit and will also start producing a little bit more heat. So as the sun expands and as the earth slowly moves away from it, it might still actually be habitable. So because the sun will slowly start becoming a red giant, um, and might actually be somewhere around this area, but will not produce as much heat, unfortunately. So Earth might still be quite habitable for quite some time, but at some point it will become too hot and will actually have a really, really hot, very scorched surface. Very similar to what Mercury has right now. But anyway, that's another story for another day, and hopefully now you'll know a little bit more about how much mass the sun loses over, the, over its lifetime, and basically why and how sun loses mass to begin with. And this is actually suggested by one of you fine people as well, and um, this was, I believe, suggested by a person by the name of Nader Alionis, who messaged me on Facebook asking me a few questions about uh, both the sun and a few other questions related to space sciences. Hopefully this answers your questions, uh, Nader, and hopefully uh, you now know a little bit more about the mass of the sun and what's going to happen in the future. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you still haven't. I'll see you guys in the next video. Game you later. And as always, bye-bye. Now let's just accelerate time and see what happens to our solar system if we make it spin super, super, super fast. And I have a feeling something is going to be really, 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 really wrong. And turns out the planets have actually survived and things are actually just as normal as they used to be. That is very, very interesting. I tried to make the game go crazy, but it didn't work. Maybe next time. Bye-bye.